Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is Meow Clown. Today we're playing more of this Back to the Future. Ooh, Edna, how you doing? What? Huh, looks like Emmett's been busy. Just a little bit. How you doing? Whoops. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down. Straight down. The last stop before the Inferno. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Shit. In heaven's name! Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Oh, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Mike. Mike? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Oh, water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ine and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Okay, so I need to find my way to the speakeasy. That's still burnt. Nope, nope, there we go. There we go. I'm assuming it's down here. I mean, come on. There we go. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. I gotta remember all that. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. Who said you were worthy? Who's you? This is asking. Joe Piscopo? Take a hike, squirt. Who told you to come here? Uh. Boss Hog? Motherfucker. Who told you about this place? Place to call to my travel agent. What's the big idea? Uh, stitch in time saves nine. Uh, settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. <laughs> really, dude? Ew. I hate my life. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Who died and made you boss? I made you boss. Boss hog? Boss hog? What will you do when I send you away? Wait till Wednesday? Where do you want to be tomorrow? From Russia. Uh, with love. Fuck! Really? Come on. Who died and made Who you boss? Who died and made you boss? Boss hog. Boss hog? What will you do tomorrow? Wait till Wednesday. Wait till Wednesday? Who told you to come here? Doris Day. Doris Day? You're an evil person. Who and made you boss. And made you boss. boss. Boss Hog? What will when you do you when away. I send you away? 
Wait till Wednesday. Wait till Wednesday? Where do you live? Borneo. Um, Russia. Uh, with love. It's Borneo. Really? Who is the king of Siam? Um, am I? Am I? <laughs> What will you do if I break your leg? Lego. Lego your ego. Lego your ego? Where are you going? Um. Uh. Livermore? Livermore. God! It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit. I told video. you to come here. You told you to come here? Doris Day. Doris Day? Nope. Okay. Who died? Boss and Hog. Made you boss. Boss Hog. What will you do if I break Lego your leg? Lego your ego. Lego your ego. Where are you going? Rome. Rome. Come on. And Who made you boss. And made you boss. Boss hog. Boss hog. What will you Definitely. do if there's a raid? Radio for help. Radio for help. Where do you hang your hat? Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg. Finally. Welcome to. Thank Elf you, Kids, sir. Oh my God. That was terrible. Door for us. What are you staring at? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only Trixie, Trixie Trotter. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. I know you, you're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? You look in the field. Nah. Well, stranger, just sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Wanna talk about them? Do do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car every morning every evening hey we got fun not much money not oh much money, my honey oh, and my honey, we got fun, we got fun. Whoopee! yeah here. now about we those troubles uh, i don't want to wallow but in misery i came here to get happy hallelujah in the winter in the summer Did you be drinking so much on duty Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. It's left. If I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. See you later, Danny. I'll be you here. alcoholic. I'm pastor. supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Yes. Come on. You know you want to do it. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing around here. Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Come 
Maybe. Just maybe. A sad song. Yep. All your fears are full of shit. Danny. You. So about those troubles. They all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this, uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hadn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. And then not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Cause she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Ah, oh, that ship sailed. The heck with her. I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. Okay, I gotta end this episode here, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, fave, comment, do whatever you feel like doing, and I'll see you next time, whatever episode I make. Stay cute, stay awesome, and stay fluffy, kittens.